What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog today. It's QPR Norwich. I didn't actually upload the last one which was against uh, Coventry because it was just, just a bit shit to be honest with you. Um, I'll, I'll give a little run now. We were shit. We probably didn't deserve to lose 3-0. No. We did deserve to lose. Didn't we really have any click up chance except for... Yeah, nothing really. Um, but yeah, Coventry probably the loudest fans to come to Loftus for the season. Only exception maybe Millwall. Uh, they were quite loud as well, to be fair to them. Um, but yeah, Norwich tonight. I went to Norwich away. We drew 0-0. Battle was actually quite decent. You know, we created a couple of chances. Pookie at the post, I think twice. Oh, I could be wrong about that. When we need to score in the last minute. I'm not expecting anything other than a 5-1 loss tonight. We can't con uh, stop conceding. We can't score. I don't even know why I've given us a goal. A change to formation. He's playing a fullback. Uh, <clears throat> both Dickey and... Balogun drop out. Balogun's injured, so he probably won't feature for us ever again. Dickie's dropped to the bench. Clark Salt has come in. We've done. Uh, Drew's in at right back. Powell still stays at left back. I don't know what formation he's playing. Could be a 4 4 2, could be a 4 3 3, could be a 4 2 3 1. Uh, but chairs in. We've got Low, Martin, and Dykes all up front together. Chair could be in an attack midfield three. Dykes on the right or something. Uh, I don't really know to be honest. So yeah, let's hope it works out. Uh, it looks like it should be a good turnout from Norwich as well. Um, yeah, it's interesting that this game was also on a Wednesday night when the other return fixture was. But... Seriously, for a club in London, for us to still be getting the sort of attention that we have been with how bad we're doing, if I actually can't imagine, like, we are a very well supported club, but players just need to turn up today, man. I don't know the regular occurrence from the season, but Kiemi Puki is not starting. Uh, we've got Sergeant up front, so I, I know he's been pretty good this season, but he's American, so we shouldn't really concede him. Right, the way the announcement just read it out, it sounds like it's going to be a 4-4-2. Four, four, the way that I got the notification, it looked more like a 4-3-3. Three, three, so, yeah, maybe we're just keeping them guessing. But honestly, I don't know. So. Last time played at home against the yellow team, we won. So, uh, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. Fuck that 5-1 game. So it's going to be 2-0 to QPR. Yeah, Jamal Lowe's going to score and uh, Linda Dyke's going to score. One nil up at half time, we've played really well, especially first uh, 25, 30 minutes, we're all over. We started to have a few more chances, but we're responding with chances of our own as well. You know, th this team, this team ain't all that, you know, I'm surprised, I'm surprised. But it seems like we turn up against a bigger side, which is good because we've got Burnley next. Uh, unfortunately, Watford are losing home to Cardiff. 
which ain't, which ain't great. Reading are also currently level, but we'll take it, you know, we'll take it. We're, we're in our hands, if we continue winning, if we win this game, that's huge, man, that's huge. Hopefully Luton, I, I can't believe I'm actually wanting Luton to win a game, but hopefully they can win that. Hopefully Watford find something to come back, but, you know, they've got pretty much enough to play for. Cardiff have a lot to play for, so I don't think uh, down the left, Powell and Chet both been brilliant. Uh, Eric Burnham has been really good as well. Uh, Dykes and Martin, yeah, Dykes also scored. He's on a lot of running as well. Both of them be good. And those have been fire. Yeah, nothing, don't know anything bad, but nobody's done anything now. Uh, Don, I think he's been good. He's made a lot of clearances. Like, just carry on, man. Just carry on like this. We'll win. No problem. He ain't getting the Someone shoots a screen in the top corner. He ain't getting Post game review, I think first half, like I said, the majority of the first half at least we were by far the better side. First 30 minutes we didn't really give them a sniff, you know, we were, we were really dominant, we had some big chances he scored obviously early on and then we had that goal mass scramble from the free kick. They could have had a red card when Eric Burnham got taken out by their captain on the edge of the box. Personally, I might be a bit biased, I do think it was probably a red card. I don't, I don't. I didn't really see if there was a covering defender because obviously I, you know, I was watching watching the ball. But um, yeah, if there was a covering defender, obviously it's a yellow. But I don't think there was. Could be wrong. Yeah, towards the end of the first half, they started to get back into it a little bit more. Had a couple corners. Nothing too clear cut though. And in the second half, especially first fifty minutes, they just suffocated us. You know, we, we conceded in the first minute, which was really poor. But overall, I thought we defended very well. You know, we didn't really let them have any other clear cut chances limit them to long shots and, and corners and crosses and stuff to try and create their chances and they didn't really do much. They had a lot of shots but a lot of them again were just nothing shots really. We came out of that phase and you know we started to attack ourselves. Amos came off the bench to, to almost win it at the end. Probably should have done. He had a bit of pressure on him on the ball though so yeah, I can understand why he didn't finish it but I think Gareth Ainsworth got the subs wrong. Um, Adoma should not be coming on at this stage of his career in these sort of games when we've got Willock on the bench. And I know Willock in the last few months has been really poor, but he has the ability to change these sort of games around. He would he could have won that game for us. You know, Adoma's too old now, I can't lie. You know, we love him, he's one of our own, but he looks so so slow, man. So slow. And Richards has looked really promising in recent games when he's come on in his limited minutes, but he should have come on a lot earlier. He only had like five minutes, he couldn't really do anything. In that time, overall, I thought we, we played well, man. Like the two strikers, Martin and, and Dykes, did well. But Dunn played really well. Um, you, you know, which was good to see, especially because he wasn't very good in, in the last game. But it was good to see him bounce back from that and not, not just sulk and, you know, hide. I thought the midfielders were good, you know, field, field did well. Eric Burnham was really good, you know, his pressing for whenever he was on the pitch was, was really well and he pressed really well. And then Amos, when he came on, also did decent. So that's good. I do think we had the better chances in the game. You know, we could have won it. At the end of the day, the performance was really pleasing, which is good to see. Again, you know, this team has fight. This team has the ability to get results. You know, we saw it here. We saw it against West Brom. We saw it against Watford a month ago. It's interesting that they're all, you know, teams that you'd expect to be on the top end of the championship, but we're not able to do it against the smallest, or not smaller, but the the worst on paper sides. With that being said, we've got Burnley next, who are obviously top. They did destroy us a lot to throw when we played them, but we had chances in that game as well, you know. And if we can play like this, we can get something there because they can now no longer equal the points total. The only thing they're really going for is trying to get guard of honor at Ewood Park. We've got too much to fight for to, you know, not win that game now. We have to win that. We've got Bristol City and Stoke to end the season. We've got to make sure that we win our three games because if we do that, it doesn't matter what, what Reading do, we will survive, yeah? And the boys have shown they can perform at a high level to get results when we need them. They have to show that same level of fight and desire 
in our next three games and we will survive. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think we'll survive. Let me know your thoughts on the game. And I'll see you soon for another vlog.